Hello, my name is David. This is Russ. We're from Castar Studios. Uh, we put together a small um, selection of videos about how to care and maintain our product and also how to fix it up if, it's, uh, if you break it. So earlier we have a couple of pieces here that we uh, glued in an earlier video. So we'll just uh, take off this little piece of tape okay. here, Ross. We have the tape obviously to hold it in place. This is the guy's ear. Nice and strong there, no problem. And then this, this little piece was filled with some little bits which are, which are on nice and solid now. So there's some voids here, so we're just going to show you how to fill those. And in a subsequent video we're going to show you how to touch up the colors and match the colors pretty good. So all orders to retailers come with one of these, which is a little touch-up kit. In here there's some uh, paints for touching up the color. There's some sponges for application, there's some wobble wedges, uh, shims, which we talked about in an earlier video. And also there's this little guy here. Now this is epoxy putty. Now this is what we use to, for filling items. So I'm just going to pass it over to Ross and he's going to talk about that. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Uh, yeah, as they said, this is an epoxy putty. It's a two-part putty. Uh, it's in a stick, so you can just cut off as much as you need. The rest of it is still good to put aside. Uh, when you cut off what you need, it needs to be mixed really, really well. You just knead it with your fingers. Um, I'm not filling very much, so I don't need very much. I don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit here. So this is still good to go back in the kit. Um, you can see that there's there's two distinct colors here. There's a there's a core and an outer layer. Um, there's always a little piece of plastic on there we take it off. And just start kneading it and mixing it until it's just one uniform color. You don't want any swirls in it. Right. So this, this stuff is available so from hardware stores. Isn't it? Hardware stores. Um, and I think yeah, it comes in hardware different stores. colors as well. You, you, you can get it in different colors. We use uh, one called Quick Wood, um, and also this one is called Quick Copper. It's kind of a coppery color, so it goes really well with the ancient stone. Um, you're gonna, it, it'll, it does okay with this Western slate. Um, the touch-up paints will, um, will will help you match it. So it really does take quite a bit of mixing. Once it is all mixed, you get about 10 or 15 minutes where it's still malleable, and you can uh, you can mold it to the piece. Okay, so that's that's looking pretty good. So it's like the glue. You you want to try to use a minimal amount. I like to smear the the edges, kind of taper them out to the rest of the piece. So. It's a little bit bigger than the actual uh, piece that I was filling, but it just helps to blend it all together. This particular piece has a bit of a rough texture on it, a rough finish. Uh, so what I've got here is just a green scrubby. There's, you know, it, it's up to your imagination what you can use to, to sort of match the texture. If I just press this onto the putty, while the putty is still soft, it's going to put that texture in there and when the when the paint goes on it's just going to help it make it look exactly like the original. You can you can see that we, we've already lost that uh, that void and the cracks are all covered up. It's actually looking pretty good. There's one more tiny little bit over here just getting a little bit fussy. I don't think you need to do that fussy but some people like to. Okay, so that, that's good. The, the voids are filled and I'm ready for a touch up. You want to probably give it 10 or 15 minutes before you try and paint it. Okay, so we'll just let those dry and uh, at the end of this video, we'll come back in the next video and show you how to touch up our pieces.